The World Bank has been pretty vocal in expressing its objections that pharmaceutical manufacturing cannot be done in a viable way in Africa. What would you say to them? I think that the John and Kenka Summit of the African CDC uh, are using a quote from, I think, Nelson Mandela put it very well. Everybody thinks it's impossible until it's done. And I think that uh, personally, I refuse to accept that it can't be done in Africa. I think uh, we have the, the various inputs required. The potential is there. We, we need to organize, build off the base that we have already. It's not as if we have to uh, start from scratch, total greenfield, that there is absolutely no vaccine production capacity on the African continent. We have uh, dispersed vaccine production capacity on the African continent. I work for BioVac uh, in, uh, in South Africa. We have spent the last 17 years building that capacity slowly but steadily. Um, Senegal is regularly put up as an example of a company in Africa that has a WHO pre-qualified uh, product for, for yellow fever. There's capacity in uh, Egypt, there's capacity in Tunis, Tunisia, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, uh, I think we need, to, we need to say that the old model has not worked. So, so once you come to that realization that the old model has not worked in in generating a solution for this problem that we're currently immersed in, then the next logical step is create a new model. We have to do something differently. And that depends on the way one thinks through the situation. So it's all about the mindset and the paradigm. And, and I think that over and above the, the, the hard technical issues, the uh, requirements and the resources that it's going to take to establish, establish vaccine manufacturing capacity on the continent, I think we also need to seize the opportunity of a moment, capitalize on that the work already done, uh, catalyzed and encouraged by, or challenged by the COVID crisis, saying that we have an opportunity now to, uh, to work in a different way as individual countries and as a collective on the continent so that the, the way we as Africans think about ourselves and the way the world thinks about us, uh, about us begins to change. The, we have a, almost a, an assumed paradigm by default that quality and Africa can't appear in the same sentence. And, and, and that is something that I fundamentally believe is an untruth. And so here's an opportunity that we have with respect to this uh, the COVID-19 challenge. And in a way, in a rather perverse way, I might add, this is, could be the silver lining uh, attached to this rather dark, dark COVID cloud, that if we do get our act together, history will show that we rose to the occasion and created a new way of working, a new way of thinking about it, and a new way for generations to come to reflect on what it means to be African and to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps.